regarding about the sin and guilt, sorry. Uh, you mentioned uh, uh, on the scholarly level, the shift of justification away from legal context to social context. Uh, this is uh, pointing out to the morality of the person only or uh, on a social level that uh, we need to coexist. No, the new perspective of Paul, which was introduced by E.P. Sanders and then picked up by many scholars, <clears throat> is referring to fellowship. So in other words, uh, the problem is not guilt. The problem is breakup of fellowship. And justification is the answer to that. That's E.P. Sanders' point. Uh, justification means that Jews and Gentiles now belong to the same Christ and not on the basis of the Jewish markers of the law, such as Sabbath, diet, and circumcision. So for him, justification transcends that so that the result is union of Jews and Gentiles. Now, I have nothing against the idea of oneness of Jews and Gentiles in the church. But the question is, is that what justification means? And I maintain that, uh, although we will study this comprehensively in soteriology, uh, that is not what justification is. Justification is used with a legal sense, which means our standing with God as judge and lawgiver, not our fellowship with uh, other believers. But on the scholarly level, you will see this uh, becoming the common approach, even among those who are supposed to be evangelicals. For example, in the word commentary series, which is considered to be the most scholarly of evangelical commentaries of several volumes, both Old Testament and New Testament, the book of Romans is written by James Dunn. James Dunn follows E.P. Sanders in his new perspective of Paul. And to me, that, uh, that is something which is a gross oversight on the part of the editors of the World Commentary series. Uh, as good as that series of commentaries is on Romans, uh, they made James Dunn I have nothing against James Dunn as an evangelical. I think he's good in many other subjects, but in his commentary on Romans, he adopts the new perspective of Paul's position. Other questions? Let's take a break.